Compared to fighting off Pirates, the upcoming game should be a breeze for sailing all-rounder Jason Waterhouse. Competing in the NACRA 17, you can catch Jason on the water sailing for victory with his cousin, Lisa Darmanin, where they will be looking to go, go one better than their 2016 Silver in Rio on the 28th of July, 3.35pm, that's Australian Eastern Standard Time. While Jason is as cool as an ice cube, ah oh shit, I wanted to make another Waterhouse pun there. Oh, well, we'll just run with it. Anyway, Jason, as cool as an ice cube, told us his expectations for the upcoming games in our episode with him. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully a gold would be nice. But yeah, it's been a weird, it's been a weird few years, man. These last two years with COVID, <laughs> as 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 the world knows. So um, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. So gold this time around, and obviously it's. Is, is the field too similar to last time and how much do you have to kind of scope out your competitors and how much do you have to kind of uh, think about what they're going to do and adjust your plans based on that? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a really good question. The um, the field is similar. In, like some of the same people will be there um, and some, you know, some new people into the class have come in and done really well as well. Um, it's been interesting. The Italians have been quite good this last four years. Um, the British as well. Um, you know, we've been pretty strong as well. So, you know, I think those three nations, including ourselves, will be up probably at the front. Um, but this extra year has given some newcomers more time to sort of advance up the fleet. Um, so um, that a bit, you know, countries you wouldn't expect have gone home, had a year extra to prepare, and now they're up there and really competitive with the front bunch. Um, so, you know, you could, you could see a few dark horses. 